something interesting about this world, right? Is that if you look at the news, generally speaking, it's full of this negative stuff. All these pessimistic things, like all the chaos of this world is constantly shoved into our face through the sense of sight and through the sense of hearing. It's so very important to keep in mind that this world overall manipulates, first of all, your human mind and therefore it starts to mess with your consciousness overall through the gateway of the senses. But to look at the news overall, you see this picture is only negative. How can you enjoy your life if that is the only way through which you perceive reality is by going along with what the news says? Now, I'm not suggesting that you should ignore what is happening around you, but I am suggesting we should learn and work on not letting it manipulate us, or at least control us. So, regardless of how negative stuff becomes, as it regularly does on this planet Earth throughout history, the more important it also becomes not to be manipulated by it negatively. You know, because if if the events of this world control the state of your own mind, of your own consciousness, then we're basically enslaved yet again in some way. But if we want to be free spirits, then we have to be able to let go of this tendency to which the senses control the mind and therefore manipulate the consciousness, the overall state of our being. So I would suggest for anyone that is in the habit of watching the news day in and out and is full of stress and worries and anxieties concerning the events that are taking place all over the world, maybe near you, maybe you're in an area where there's all kinds of conflicts. I know it, it must be tough. But at the same time, we have to keep reminding us, especially during these hard times that we all face, we have to remember and remind ourselves of our true natures, which is non-physical always. Always has and always will be. The physical part is just a journey, ladies and gentlemen. And because it's just a journey, if you really contemplate that, Knowing that there will be an end, which we usually describe as dying, right? That's the end of the journey, physically speaking. Well, knowing that there's an end always, it actually should, if we're smart, make us realize that the more serious we take life, especially when it comes down to negative events, the more silly that actually is. Because if it's all temporary by nature, why then should we allow negative events to control our consciousness? It makes no sense. But that is what happens to most people. Because they're watching the news all the time. And as they're watching it, they're completely, sadly, ignorant of their own true spiritual natures. Because that's never been taught. That's never been spoken of. Well, of course, it has been spoken of. But what I mean is, generally speaking, on a overall societal level, Hardly anyone talks about the spiritual side of life, let alone the news. Have you ever seen the news talk about the spiritual nature of reality, of the astral realms, of out-of-body experiences, of all these phenomena of consciousness that take place all over the world for individuals that show and provide evidence that there is more to life than just the physical. But if we do not know this, if we're never being taught this when growing up, that we take this physical journey very seriously. We take the events that occur along this journey very seriously to the point that they start to control us. And as they control us, these events, we are very deeply disturbed indeed because you realize many things are out of your control. I think this is also a very important thing to remember is that even though we are creators of our own reality, on a global level, humanity itself, as a whole, is of course responsible for all the chaos that we're experiencing. So as a whole, humanity should shift and grow and learn to stop being silly, to stop fighting each other, of course, but that's too ideal, apparently, for this dimension. But uh, let me tell you this, this physical dimension has been described in many ancient spiritual texts as being, well, quite literally hell. Now, isn't that shocking? 
because people are worried that after they pass away they go to hell but what if you're already in hell i mean hell is a negative place that's what we've been told right that's how it's described well can't you see that this physical reality is pretty much a negative place on its own i know it's not all negative that's also positive but that's the thing to realize that there are different dimensions means that you might as well go seeking for the higher heavenly realms of existence if you can make that distinction for yourself where it's like am i perceiving the hellish side of life or the heavenly side well then you clearly can tell that humanity as a whole again is mostly obeying the hellish side of life sadly but it's true they're not really looking beyond anything that they're physically observing but there is more than we can perceive physically there's way more than just this physical realm and all these conflicts that go on here tend to be over physical things over things that are temporary by nature how silly is that how fucking stupid is that yeah let me just use the f word i've known for many years i tried to avoid using vulgar language right i realize i don't even need to fucking care about that fucking shit because let's just put it like it is people generally speaking fight get into conflicts over physical shit and it's so stupid to look at this stuff here eastern europe with russia etc i mean it's just one tiny little example right of what's in the news there's way more conflicts going on around the world with different places i know i'm aware but did you notice that all of it is about physical stuff about stuff that is temporary by nature it's transient and they're fighting over that with each other because of their ignorance of taking it all too serious you see that is why you have to be careful when watching the news because they want you to pick sides and then in picking that side you are allowing yourself if you don't watch out to also kind of start functioning like that taking transient things way too serious things that are temporary by nature that don't even last forever they will come to an end sooner or later you and i will come to the end of our journey sooner or later and then once the end comes you can perceive this world from a higher perspective an astral perspective and you realize how silly things are down here you know time space reality people having all these conflicts forgetting that they are immortal souls that they are eternal beings that there is no need to fight over transient things yes in ignorance we do all kinds of stupid things and that's what's causing all of the issues that we face it's the ignorance not knowing who and what we really are forgetting that it's all temporary this whole journey it's really sad it's really stupid as well and it's just so typical of this dimension you know if you get hurt physically speaking it grabs your attention if you cut yourself and you see it bleed your your attention is gonna go there you're like oh my god what happened i need to fix this of course you should you don't want to get the wound to be infected etc see all this stuff needs our attention but as it happens, we should at the same time learn to remember, but it's also temporary. So no matter what happens to me physically, to you and I, it cannot completely ruin us. We are afraid to a certain extent because of the ego and the identification we have with the physical self. So when we see conflicts happen in the world, we might somehow fear this might happen to us. What if this happens where I live? What if this confronts me, physically speaking? And it's like, but the physical self is temporary anyway. So yes, if it confronts you, it's going to be disturbing. It's going to be uncomfortable. Well, with that, we can agree. Many things happening out there is highly uncomfortable to even look at. So imagine being in that position, dealing with it face to face. It is very highly uncomfortable. But at the same time, you have to do your best to remember, but it's also temporary. We are eternal beings and because of that no matter what happens we will still be free actually you could say in the end you will be free anyway because as weird as it sounds in the western cultures 
In some places death is celebrated because they know the soul is free again. Free from these limitations. Free from the delusion of being just this physical shell that has to worry about everything that might happen to it. You see this weird conflict. So it makes it interesting why some spiritual groups also therefore like to consider that again this is all like some sort of prison in which the soul has fallen into. It could be the case indeed, but at the same time, regardless of that, even if that would be true, to know the keys to your freedom is to break free from it. Now what are the keys to the freedom? It's your own consciousness, it's your own awareness. To become aware of the fact that this life is temporary, of course we all know it, but we never contemplate it deeply enough. To become aware of your own awareness is the key to freedom, it's the key to break and free from the delusion of being just a physical self. Having to worry about all these physical things that are all temporary by nature. That is the main point of the video. Is that the mainstream media makes you go crazy if you don't watch out. Because you're letting your mind be controlled by things that are temporary by nature. What is wrong with all of us? Now I'm not saying that... To be, like, I don't want to sound mean or rude if you or you know someone that is obsessed with the news or something. But it's saying that it's it's sad actually in a way to see that the news is mostly built in such a way to focus on the negative instead of the positive, or at least to balance it out, to also you know inject some true positive spirituality into the news. Imagine that. Imagine how that could actually help humanity. If they know how to balance both sides out. So that the population doesn't go insane or worry too much. But again, like some people say, maybe it is the job of the news to keep people in fear. So they're easily controlled and manipulated. So they're always confused and they don't understand what is really going on. It's all so confusing. Who knows, man? Again, there's all kinds of stuff happening in this world that's highly suspicious. Let's put it like that. But regardless, the point of this message was to remind you not to let yourself be controlled by the news, by knowing who you really are, the true nature of yourself, which is eternal, which does not have to suffer along with the temporary madness of this world. Even though we're confronted with negativity and crazy shit all the time, and they will be uncomfortable as well. We should also remember that we are eternal beings.